Okay, so I'm going to do one of those, um, yep, waterfall swirl tumblers, you know, waterfall rain tumblers. I have paper underneath this in my tray just because um, my tray was green. So, but this is going to be all pinks and purples um, by request. So, I have a bunch of different pink and purple ink here. These ones are weird when I put them on that way. Um, this is also going to get, I think this pink might be empty, or just about. Um, this one's also going to get seahorses on it. I am going to cover the entire thing with my cheap glitter, um, my new one. So, and I'm going to put a little bit of gold into it, but I'm just, without much rhyme or reason, putting some inks on to start. I do have my heat gun here and ready to go. for silver, but I don't, I might change my metallic, give me a minute here, oh, that's pearl, that won't work, um, give me one second, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with this Tim Holtz alloy sterling, instead of the gold, because I think it'll just look better. Um, so I am going to bring down a little bit of my blending solution. I'm going to put quite a bit of that on there. Because why not? So the blending solution isn't just alcohol. It has a little bit of a resin in it. And you need that to hold the um, alloys. So I'm going to get some more alcohol on there. I'm going to get my heat gun turned on. This is a Wagner Inferno 550. I probably don't need that much heat. I just need the fan mostly. Now, typically when I do these, you'll see me dip in there and reuse that. Um, that's not going to be an option in this case. So, that's not going to be an option because it's sitting on top of that green, which you can see lifting back through. So, I'm going to run back through with my colors. And again, this is going to get a glitter over the top. So. And I don't have my little sprayer of alcohol, or my little, um, bottle I usually use some. I'm having to work from my big bottle.
You're just trying to get waves of color, basically. Ribbons of color. Trying to get that top rim completely coated. Actually, pretty satisfied with this. So, two seconds. So I am good with that. I am going to let it ride and I'm going to let it completely dry and then tomorrow I'm going to come in with that cheek glitter and a coat of resin and get it covered and after that I will get some seahorses on here but I like it. Um, so, I like the silver undertones. I actually really like what the alloy did on this one. So, I am satisfied overall. And I am just going to, like I said, I'll let it dry. I will be back for the next step. Okay, it is time to get some resin on this one. Let me get it turning. I'm going to mix into my resin for the entire cup my newest cheat glitter from IPP. Uh, it's called Micro Cheat Cheat. So we'll see what I think about this one. This should have shifts that line up with pastel -y, pinks, purples, whatever. So we'll see. I also have some. Um, colored glitters on standby here that I might sprinkle in. So I will decide on that in a couple of minutes. Oh yeah, that is pretty. Look at that. I think I may add some of the colored glitter, but like the tiniest, tiniest little bits. This one's almost, um, 
almost a pastel -y rainbow shift. But it sure is pretty. Okay. Just make sure I get full coverage here. And with the my, the cheat like this, I could probably go to detail on my next step. But if I add these other glitters, I may have to um, put another coat on. Which isn't the end of the world. Because it's going to get at least two more coats anyways. So that is full coverage. I'm going to take this glove off quick and grab a fresh one because I don't want to cross contaminate my glitters if I can help it. So the rest of the glitters I pulled are glitter bees. I have Jersey Metallic, Mercer Holographic, Cherry Blossom Iridescent and Lilac Iridescent. And the Lilac I haven't used yet and I don't think I've used the Mercer at all yet. So. I've got to get them opened. I didn't pay attention when I pulled them. But I am just going to I think I'm going to sprinkle the lighter colors towards the center and feather them out to the darker colors, I think. So, I'm just going to take like the tiniest bit and just sprinkle it from up high. That's all I'm going to give it for each color. Just the tiniest, tiniest bits. And I'll wipe off my spoon here. Grab my darker pink. This color is gorgeous. And I'm going to do the same thing around the top rim. Sprinkle it from higher low spread it out more. So I think that's good for the pink. That's all I want. <clears throat> Just a little added something something. And on my paler purple I'm going to come down here. Turns around. And that's good enough for the light purple. And last, I'm going to grab the dark. That's all static in my spoon. Looks like one of those magnetic, um, like little plastic things with the magnetic hair in it that I can't remember the name of right now. Oops. Willy Elise, is that what they were called? Okay. So that is it. I'm going to let that spin. I will decide when it is dried, if it needs another coat or not. I'm actually going to kind of spread out that dark purple a little bit because I did get a little bit heavy handed there in a couple spots. So I'm just going to kind of work it back and forth. I'm 
there. And rub it on the bottom a little bit again. All right. So I'm going to let this dry, make the decision on the next coat, and if it needs another coat, I'll get that on, and I will come back when I'm ready for the seahorse decals. Okay, I went ahead and de did my decals for this little cutie off camera. Um, I just used some silver vinyl, two shades of pink, and two shades of purple, and just cut out a bunch of little seahorses. So... It was nothing fancy, no sorcery or trickery for that, though. Just regular permanent adhesive vinyl. I just used Cricut files for the seahorses. So, that'll be the end of this cup. I'm not going to put any more additive in because I want the seahorses to stay non-sparkly to pop off of the sparkly background so if you're wondering why I'm not doing anything else on here well, that is my reasoning I just think they're gonna pop better as they are so that is it for this one I'm gonna get my glove off Pop the bubbles quick and bring you down so you can see it. Here we go. I'm just going to do once around, making note that I started by the name. And there may be a few bubbles in my silver vinyl, or it could be where it's over glitter. I'm not worried about it for this cup. That was more than once around. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring you down quick and let you see it up close. I'm trying to put my glove underneath. How pretty. Just cute. Relatively simple. I did put some horsies on the bottom. But, waterfall rain alcohol ink covered in glitter. And, uh, vinyl decals. So, well, that is it for this one. Thanks for watching.